Hello all, Havoc here. Alright, in our last episode, found out how deficient I was in supplies. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so we're going to risk taking the sled across the mountain again. It worked once. I said I wasn't going to test fate twice, but I'm gonna. Because I really want to get back to base, get those resources, and then get back over here. And I think we'll be alright. I mean, I, I, I did it safely once. I think I can safely do it again. As I crash on the landing. It wasn't officially a crash. But it was rough on the landing. All the wheels are on, all thrusters are on. We're a little heavy on ice, but... Uh, that's going to work to our advantage for the sake of power. All right. Oh, come on, really? Now you do this to me? Let's see if we can go get that. All right. Now get this little uh, molehill. Alright. Brakes work. Good. It's the last thing we need right now. Is a runaway sled. It is a bobsled. But I don't don't. Alright. Is it still in the water? Kinda looks like it is, huh? Mm. Trying to break, trying to break. Trying to decelerate. I think using that term is probably a bad idea for me. Alright, it looks like it might not be in the water. Okay, so we're going to get a GPS down here at this water's edge so we can mark a good spot for crossing because that was pretty smooth. Into the water we go. Okay, wheels off. Ah, oh, we need thrust in more than one direction. This is getting to be a little old. Alright. Uh, we got hydrogen, we got oxygen. Grinder at the ready. Oh no. Okay, it's not that kind. Prisoner hat, huh? Alright. <sighs> Nothing of super use. I just realized slide doesn't have an antenna. I mean, he'll stick out on the water, but he still doesn't have an antenna. <laughs> oh, 
Oh no. He'll stick out except for when there's a dust storm blowing across and hiding him from you. Alright. So, what did we get? Um, some advanced computers, some food, another drill. So I get to tear another drill apart. That's good. Okay. So yay for hydrogen. And full speed ahead. Oh, uh, wheels are off, right? Yep, yeah, okay. So comments from last episode. Um, I didn't get to this because I'm actually uh, pre-recorded this episode because I'm spending time with the wife today. So... Um, this episode is brought to you by yesterday. <laughs> Thanks for being here, guys. Appreciate you guys' support for all the for all the videos. Keep smashing that thumbs up button, and uh, yeah, keep the channel growing. Appreciate it. Okay, so sled is working better than anticipated. Like I said in last episode, I might be stepping up to building a large grid. Um, I know something that looks like a like a Coast Guard cutter or something that I can offload supplies to and get basic construction components off of because large grid is going to be the only way it looks like to make that looks so cool very psychedelic alright um, large grid is going to be the only way to get things built and I want to get things built it's a whole part of this series so we have a bob that can put steel plates down like there's nobody else that's the end of it and want to get past that so yeah and here's where we're at so uh, we're going to continue to travel towards base so the whole goal for going back to base today is to get uh, interior plates up production up and running at back at base as well as hopefully scavenge some displays out of some components so we can get those up online and functioning as well because it seems to be that's the Achilles heel for me right now our interior plates and displays I mean going for the heavy hitting products like oil it seemed like a great idea until I didn't have some of the more basic components so yeah there's always that All right, so it shouldn't take too much longer. We'll get there soon. Soon. Tm. My power production is oscillating, and that's kind of disturbing. Inventory. Oh, we're not tied into the network. That would have been very awkward if that had actually worked. Okay. It's still oscillating. It's really weird. Um, just watching that number in the bottom right. 34 minutes. And it'll jump up like super high. See, there it goes up to an hour. It almost doubles and then it cuts in half. It's going back and forth. And it really shouldn't. A sandstorm super psychedelic from underwater. You can throw in some whale sounds on top of that. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. So this episode is pretty much going to be back at base. Um, hopefully Bob keeps welding while we're away. Uh, I hope. Because th that's what I need most right now is him to do that. So the whole point of him being 
brought back on line at one job Bob one job all right so four clicks super fast definitely need more thrusters on this thing are there other thrusters in this hmm I gotta look uh, wrong way. Okay, so... Hydrogen thrust... Oh, hydrogen thrusters! We have unlimited hydrogen! What? Right there, that is the thing. Okay, let's get back to base. Actually, hold up. I, that's really annoying that I can't access that port. We need, just need some metal grids. Do you have metal grids? You do not. All right. We're almost home. All right. Full speed ahead. That is a thing. Oh my goodness. Why did I not think of that sooner? I'm surprised you guys weren't yelling at me sooner about that. <laughs> Uh, crying over titanium, and I have hydro almost unlimited hydrogen. All right, soon. Dot tm, because that's like the thing, right? All the dots and all the tms. Okay, so I should actually tear that back up and put that back in place so we could... Yeah, because we lost speed. Yeah, good luck, buddy. That's like Mariana Trench over there. You're you're done for. You're done. Okay. Much exploring, much learning has happened in this episode. Learning that Havoc's a dork and doesn't utilize his own things. Oh, I love how the base sticks out from here, though. Two and a half clicks out. You can see. Bite this from here. That's awesome. Yeah, buddy. Alright, so we need plate stamper online and displays. And then we're going to haul all this back to the oil sands outpost and start building there and continue building there. Huge advantage to the setup we got going now is, is um, you guys are saying about I needed multiple bobs so I can be welding more than one place at a time. Well, Bob's back there welding what I plan on doing here. I don't need Bob for. The only reason I did add Bob back is to put down the million steel plates that I'm going to be using along the way. So, I'm just, I need to change that a little bit. The only reason I reinstated bar, build and repair, is because 
of the plates. Bob is our vehicle we've been getting around on. So, yeah, I need to reiterate and modify my statements. Because soon, we'll be able to bring Bob with the built-in bar. Yeah, I said it. Back over here to Pythus and uh, get things welded up. One thing's for sure is that using the bar is um, actually troublesome because there's things that I'm leaving unbuilt, unwelded for the sake because they look good. So, yeah. As soon as we start bringing him around, he's going to start welding up all those things. And oh, that'll get a little frustrating. All right. Let's turn our wheels back on. Okay. And our landing gear is where? Right there, okay. Oops, I turned my thrusters off, didn't realize it. Uh, docked. Love it. Nailed it, aced it, can't be stopped. Alright. Alright. Because I can. <laughs> I had the stuff in my inventory. Alright, so let's run up here. I don't remember. Oh, actually, the plate stamper's out there, isn't it? Okay, let's take a look what we got back at base. That rotor can come down. So I want to finish that, but I need so much resources to get it done. That's why it's not getting done. Okay. Lights. All right, plate stamper. Place stamper is incomplete. There's our. Never mind. So we have one done, we just don't have aluminum. Because that counts as interior plate. Okay. And if I remember correctly, it is microelectronics factory is what makes displays. And it says over here in the right hand corner produces basic and advanced computers, thermal couplers, sensor clusters, and displays. It takes 100 interior plates. How does it take interior plates if we need aluminum plates? are the only things we can make. Uh, uh. So it looks like stopping off at oil is a bad idea. Because we need aluminum to make interior plates. Microelectronic factory. I'm pretty sure I don't have one of those yet. 
I do not. I literally have to take one of these apart just to make that the amount of interior plates I have in one of these containers will solve that problem. So So you are no more. So we need now is a G micro electronics factory. It's not very micro. Actually, it's pretty small. Uh, let's put it right there. Copper wire and bulletproof glass. Yeah. Um, let's put it all this way. Actually, you're staying right where you're at because I'm going to end up needing you back at... Uh... Oh, come on. Okay, uh, copper, 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 copper. That's gold. That's, yeah, that's gold. Copper wire and... Oh, I want that display. Uh, bulletproof glass. Do we need how much bulletproof glass? 20-ish and 80-ish uh, computers. Uh, computers? Where did all those interior plates? Holy cow. Where, where did all those come from? Okay. Um... Come on. I need what again? Computers, please. Not the advanced kind, just the normal kind. Really? Just not have any? Advanced assembler, uh, mod compatible assembler. <laughs> Come on. And I took out the workbench, didn't I? Which is actually probably what I need to make computers. <sighs> My goodness. Let's try this again. Second verse, same as the first. All right, components successfully withdrawn, except for all the components I actually need because that's not what it tried to actually withdraw. Gee, many Christmas. Why is this being so difficult, guys? I mean, I'm doing a lot of this to myself, I'm sure. Um, yeah. Just do it. There we go. Eight. I need computers in order to make that. <sighs> okay. Production. Basic computer, I need silicon and copper. Ok, 
Can I get process, please? And copper. Um, not concrete. Ingots. Where does copper ingots look like? There it is. Okay, production. Oh, it's one of cop. <laughs> For all you following along at home, yeah, I just did that. <sighs> Let's give it a second. Cause I'm a dork. This is building them fast. Okay, so back to needing a ton of bulletproof glass. Okay. To make a display, copper wire, silicon wafers, plast... <laughs> Plastic. Oil. I need displays to get oil. So that just happened. So basic computers are right here, by the way, as well. So this thing gets online. This will probably make them extremely fast. Does it take less to make them too? 0.3 and 1.1? 1. 1? No, it makes it th for the same rate. It just... Probably not. Oh, you know what else it doesn't do? Why does this thing have all that other stuff in it? Uh, it might make them faster, but it has inventory. I just put silicon wafers in there. Why didn't it pull? Oh my goodness, why? Copper wire, please, can go in. Oh, it's already in there. Okay, so silicon can go in there. Okay. Oh, is it not connected? Well, that's shenanigans. So this is connected to this, but none of this is connected to that. <sighs> All right, well, looks like I got some more fixing to do here before we head back to the oil fields. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you coming out and supporting the channel, guys. It's absolutely fantastic reading all your guys' comments and commenting back. This is Havoc. Have fun, and keep gaming.